how does Tesla self-driving actually work? And is it good? And is it good compared to other companies? Well, competitors like Waymo, you might see those cars with those spinning devices on the top of the car. That's called LiDAR. And what LiDAR does is it uses lasers that measure the distance based on how long the laser takes to bounce off objects and return to the car. You got that? Now, Tesla is something completely different. Is it good? Well, data from full self-driving and autopilot, Tesla uses what's called a neural network, which is around eight to nine of these, these cameras around the car. So the neural network interprets the environment versus waiting on lasers to return to the car. These cameras that surround the vehicle actually interpret the environment around it. You got three up top, you got multiple on the side, but here's the thing. Full self-driving data is reported to be seven times safer than the average gas car on the road. And we've seen driverless taxis from Tesla called robo-taxis that are a fraction of competitors, Ubers, and other competitors in the EV space. So which one is better? LiDAR supposedly takes a little longer to return that data back to the car because you're waiting on that distance to return. You got to process it and spit out a result where Tesla uses a neural network. So almost, almost like human vision, it's interpreting the environment around it. That's what your Tesla is doing when it's using the cameras that surround the car. It is literally in real time taking in information interpreting it and deciding, making choices on what to do. So that's how Tesla does it. This neural network using these cameras are watching all the time. Every single Tesla includes autopilot. It's a basic feature. It'll keep you in the lane. It'll steer, brake, and accelerate for you. For the full suite, you can subscribe to full self-driving. That is $99. So if you want to know more about that difference, comment down below. But that is the main difference uh, at a high level overview of LiDAR versus what Tesla does in the neural network. Now you know.